Hey guys, and hope you're doing well. So today we're again talking about a visualization of the Zabbix and about a new widget which is available in the dashboards of the Zabbix 6.0. And uh, if you are using some sort of better release just for the testing purposes, then you already can have uh, a little bit of fun around of this widget. So we have a documentation open, official one, and uh, yeah, by the way, the documentation for the 6.0, of course, is still in the development, and it is also possible to join the translation project to help translate uh, documentation in your language. Um, yeah, so so contribute your uh, your skills to the Zabbix. And uh, First of all, we have a documentation open just to see what we can achieve. So this is the result that we can get. And uh, again, I'm super excited about the possibilities that you can achieve because this is more and more looking like uh, good old Grafana, which a uh, couple of, I don't know, even like a year ago, you could not really imagine uh, good visualization options without the Grafana, just using the Zabbix native functionality. But right now it's... Uh, it's possible. It's it is where we are right now. You can create a beautiful widgets, beautiful dashboards, and there are also some sort of uh, customization options. And you see, there is advanced configuration. We will not talk about the all the parameters that you can change. It's quite a lot of readings. Uh, we will go directly to the demo instance and uh, create our own widgets and go through all the parameters that we can find there. And I did tested, like I created one or two param one or two widgets and uh, some things I would uh, want to make it a little bit different. So we'll definitely talk about them. So let's go to the actual demo instance. There you go, running the dashboard of the Zabbix 6.0 beta release. And we also have the last widget that we played around uh, the geo map available here from the previous video. By the way, if you haven't watched it, then go ahead. It's a good one. It's uh, one of the best features, one of the best widgets I think we have right now in the Zabbix. And the link uh, to the video will be somewhere above probably here. Um, so how can we create these item value widgets? Um, just like any other widget, you just click edit uh, dashboard. And then uh, either you just click here and select the widget, it will be the default size. Uh, let's say let's do it like this. So we must specify the item which we actually want to display and let's make it by cent, right? So it looks like this, or actually a new thing that I personally didn't know. So you can just click and drag how big widget do you want to be, then just let down your mouse button and again, select the item. And let's make it the same byte cent and it will look like this. So this is about the sizing, of course, later on, you can resize it as per your needs. So let's get rid of this one. And uh, let's use this one for our playing. So configuration, there are not many things that we can actually do. There is, of course, uh, a name, right, I will zoom in a bit. Uh, so there is a name which is optional, you can specify it or not, it will just be displayed on a header of the widget, but uh, I don't think that it's really needed. Refresh interval, of course, how often do you want to refresh it, and then you must specify the item, uh, which value you actually want to display in your widget. So there must be an item, you must have some sort of the host and an item that is collecting the data. If the item is not supported, obviously, you won't be able to visualize anything in this widget. Then what do we want to show description, time, value and change indicator. So uh, basically, um, description, this and value change indicator and time. This is what we see. Then the biggest part of the configuration is to advance configuration, right? This just click this checkbox and it opens um, pretty big list of conf configuration parameters that we can change. And uh, let's cancel this. This basically one thing. So yeah, I am editing and I do expect to uh, see how the changes that I'm making here in the widget configuration actually visualize in the real life. So I would want to see the widget, but it is behind this menu, and I cannot really uh, move it. So that's one thing that I personally would, uh, let's say change. So let's move it here and then go back to the settings, click the advanced view, we have these parameters. And 
they're divided in uh, basically three parts and we can see that with uh, visualization seeds like squares around the parameters and uh, the parameters are description which is remember this the lowest one and the value which is received by the item and displayed in the widgets and there is also the time well just just the time right and description comes with the internal macro item dot name and item dot name resolves to well the item name again it's uh, pretty simple but if you want you can change something let's say right uh, like uh, I don't know testing click apply and there you see the name actually change the description of the widget. And this is another thing that uh, I personally would wish uh, that it would work dynamically. So there are quite a lot of parameters like the size and the percentage, right, uh, the color, and I don't really know how it's gonna look in the real life. So let's say, okay, I don't like the description is uh, not displayed in a full width in this widget. So I probably want to decrease it. I press five, but I have no idea how the five will actually look like. So I have to click apply. Oh, I cannot read anything. Then go back to the settings, make it 10, click apply. And there you go. It looks better, but still it could be a little bit bigger. So let's make it 12. And there you go. Well, this is fine. And it would be great like if there would be a possibility to see a preview of uh, how this setting will actually look like. Well, the bold, of course, uh, yeah, again, changing just the style. And another thing is location. So where we want to see these three main, um, I don't know, call them whatever you want, the values or whatever. So description, value and a time. The default is like this. So description is horizontal position centered, vertical position bottom, value center middle and time center top. And another frustrating thing here is that let's say if I want to change something. And uh, I don't know, let's make description go to the top, it will fail because two or more fields cannot occupy same space, uh, which is uh, the first time I did this configuration was a little bit confusing, like what what cannot occupy because I was just reading through the description and changed immediately the vertical position, click the apply and it failed. Well, it fails because we have a description in a top position and we also have a time in the top position. So we could change, um, let's say the time to the middle, click apply again, and still two or more fields cannot occupy the same space. And we right now are not sure like which fields exactly. And uh, yeah, now we see the values in the middle and the time is in the middle. So if we wanna change them, we must make sure that each of these time, value and description are not uh, occupying the same space, right? So bottom, middle, top should be good. Click apply. There we go. Change is visible. And let's make it bigger to actually see all the values. Uh, what else we can do? The decimal values, you can change the size of the decimal value, which is a small thing, but great thing. Again, uh, sad that we have to click to apply to see the changes. Uh, size of the main value, so one in this case, let's make it uh, bigger, let's make it 55, right? What else? Uh, same about the time position. Let's make it, uh, I know, left side, and uh, let's add a color of the value, let's make it red, right? Like this. There we go. And uh, what else we can do, we can add our customized units. So it is turned on by default. And if we disable it, yeah, then even our units are disappeared. So right now, when we have a default setting, like uh, we just have clicked units to show them, but we don't have any units written, it will pick up the units that are configured on the item. Remember, when we're configuring an item, we are able to specify which, uh, what unit do we want to use, but at the same time, we can override it. And uh, let's call it, I don't know, uh, test, right? So we specify test, click apply. And uh, yeah, so M test because, uh, because of the of the value. And if we do exclamation mark test, then it should uh, do the blacklist. 
Yeah, see, so it is not doing any conversion. So it is taking the same value from the item and on the item, we have a conversion because we're tra talk talking about uh, bytes sent. So we have uh, BPS, probably we're, we're just B as a unit. And uh, yeah, that's why if we play around with this unit, it looks just like it looks. The other things that we can use is the change indicator. And there's no big science, right? The green arrow up means that the value has grown from the previous value. The red one means that the value has dropped. And this one, both sides up and down, I think it that means that the value is the same as it was previously. And we also can change the colors. Maybe in some cases when the value goes up, it's actually bad. And uh, if it goes down, then it's good. We also can change uh, the background color. Let's make it orange like this looks not very good, but you can do that. And uh, the last option that you can do is dynamic item, which basically will display the same item uh, by its scent, but you will be able to change the host in the dashboard. Dynamic item is like here in the Zabbix for quite a long time. And uh, it's nothing new. So let's change the background. I don't like this uh, orange color. And this is even worse. <laughs> See, that's that is because there is no way as a preview, right? There we go. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, there is still, I don't know, we could say that there's still missing words, just not implemented yet abilities to, let's say, specify that if the value is above some threshold, then I want to change the color to this. And if it drops uh, after again, some thresholds, then I want to change the color or the size or whatever else to some other parameter. This most likely will come in some upcoming releases, but uh, not available right now. So there you go. This is the simple simple how is it called item value widget and uh, with this again you can make your dash dashboards uh, pretty beautiful uh combining with some other widgets like the maps uh, geo map uh, just uh the regular graphs and uh, some problems by severity and other stuff right so thank you guys for watching if you have some questions as usually ask them in the comments and i will try to help you goodbye